Hello and welcome back to another Nintendo News Update. As always, links to articles cited are in the description. Before we talk about a couple of important articles, I would like to remind you of my giveaway. Details on how to enter are in the description. Alright, let's get started. The first article comes from mirror.co.uk. Nintendo drops a bombshell about its most beloved video game character, Mario. I actually like Yoshi more, but whatever. Nintendo has fired Mario the Plumber. That's right, an article from mirror.co.uk noted that the character description for Mario has been updated and it now reads, quote, all around sporty, whether it's tennis or baseball, soccer or car racing, Mario does everything cool the website says in Japanese, end quote. They keep on say, quote, as a matter of fact, he also seems to have worked as a plumber a long time ago, end quote. That's a key sign, there's a key word right there, worked, E-D, past tense, long time ago. Looks like Mario has not been a plumber for a long time, um, which makes sense. The article also finds out that Mario is not middle-aged, but most likely in his mid-twenties. Shocking, I know. Well, I never really saw Mario working as a plumber on pipes and valves, so that make, kind of makes sense, right? I saw him beat up turtles, rescue pr a princess more often than he changed clothes, take ecstasy, smoke weed, magic traveling green pipe, and take shrooms. He also rides a dinosaur, hits it every time he wants it to grab something with his mouth. Oh yeah. And then he invites all of his enemies for an afternoon of go-karting. So that's really weird. Alright, second article. This one comes from BBC.com. The name is, Nintendo loses court case over Wii motion controllers. Yep. So, a long time ago, back in 2013, health tech company iLife sued Nintendo. They wanted $100 million, $144 million. But after the trial went and you know and it was settled in court, um, they got $10 million. They got less than 10% of what they wanted. People, this is a problem. A couple of weeks ago I talked about Game by suing Nintendo. If I let him win with a vague patent, Game Vice can also win. It's not good news for Nintendo, and honestly, for anybody that loves Nintendo, like me, um, it's not good either. If it is proven that Nintendo illegally used their patents, then yes, they should absolutely pay. If not, Nintendo should sue back for defamation or whatever they call it. This is making me a little bit nervous because some developers may shy away from the Switch which will hurt Nintendo. The case doesn't even need to be settled and to the point where um, Game Vice wins and they have to ban the Switch from stores. Not even close. If it drags on and devs get an inkling of this going badly, even if there's a small chance of that, they may put their Switch games on the back burner. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching, listening, this is a really quick video, but I thought they, these articles were noteworthy. I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.